All right, guess what? We're back for another week of Weekly Devotional. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Uh, for those of you that are new to what we're doing, this is our Weekly Devotional here at Evangelistic Center. For those of you that are here last week, you already know how we roll, so let's get right into it. Um, last week, we talked about disappointment, and the whole month we're dealing with disappointment, but last week, specifically, we talked about disappointment being a part of life, and we're not to take it personal. This week, um, we're going to deal with the disappointments of life, but we're going to talk about disappointments are necessary. And we've been using the scripture, Proverbs 13 and 12. New Living Translation says that hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a dream fulfilled is a tree of life. So when you think about disappointments and things that we go through in life, um, the last thing we think about is that they're necessary. So before you get mad and log off, uh, please hear me out. As much as we love sunshine and warm weather, um, nature cannot survive uh, as we know it without rain. We would love to live um, in a city, and unfortunately, Kansas City is not that city where we just have sunshine and warm weather, warm weather all the time. Um, even a songwriter says, joy and pain, sunshine and rain. So you've got to have a little bit of both. Um, and speaking of songs, there's a song um, that was uh, written way before my time in 1970, um, and it was called The Rose Garden. And I was, as I was looking up the words, the part of the song that stuck out to me, it says, and there was a and there was a part of the song that says, I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden. Along with the sunshine, there has to be a little rain sometimes. And that's how it is with life. And so we we know that we go through valleys and hills and ups and downs, and sometimes things can seem a little off kilter and a little bipolar. But we have to remain, remain confident in our God and the God that we serve, that no matter what we deal with, no matter what goes on. He has us in the palm of his hand. He's in control. He knows everything. He's not just sitting around waiting for things to happen and not knowing what's going on. He has it all figured out. And I want us to encourage, I want to encourage us that if we could just hold on to the end and just hang in there and not allow our disappointments to get the best of us because sometimes they are necessary. Now I'm gonna share another song, and I'm sure most of us may know this song, but if you don't, I need you to go look that up and it's a pretty good song. Song is uh, by Stevie Wonder and it's called You Will Know. And it's one of my favorite songs and one part of the song that I really wanted to share it says that lonely one of young so broken hearted traveling down the rigid road of life using pharmaceutical extractions to find the paradise. But then it says find the high but comes down feeling lower. But then I get down on my knees and start to pray. I'm looking up to heaven for the answer to hear a voice that say, the hook here comes. It says, you will know, trouble heart, you'll know that problems have solutions. Trust and I will show. You will know, trouble heart, you'll know every life has reason for I made it so. That's one of my favorite songs and, I, it, it, and it gets me because it, it gives a real depiction of, of what life is about that problems have solutions. It says that every life has reason because God, he made it that way. He made it for us to be people of purpose. And sometimes on our path to purpose, we have to walk through situations and walk through valleys and sometimes deal with disappointments and seasons in our lives that just kind of, for the lack of a better word, it just sucks. So in order for us to fully develop, we have to go through seasons that test our faith. There is no way that we can exhibit the full the fruit or the full maturity in our life without a little rain or a little disappointment. Any land, as far as we, as many of us know, any land that goes without rain for a long period of time is considered in a drought and it's called a desert. And we all know that God is, is, is he said he's the river of life and, and we don't, we, we're not built and we're not designed to just, to, to be in desert and to be in famine, but God has called us to be in plenty. So as we go through life, sometimes we're having those sunny moments, those sunny days, it is, and even New Edition says, sunny days, everybody loves them, but can you stand the rain? Can you stand the disappointments of life? So please hear me when I say that we have to make a choice that we can either decide to let disappointments propel us forward or derail us and move us backwards. God is not out to get you, to make you miserable or to hurt you. He doesn't get down like that. God has a plan for you to bless you and to prosper you as Jeremiah 29 and 11 says. And so as we close out this week, um, as we go through our difficult times, it seems that at the end when we see the results, um, we can always say that it was necessary. And so if we could just press forward and press through those hard times, knowing that at the end of it, you'll look back and say, man, all of it was worth it. Let's have a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you again today for your goodness and your faithfulness, God. We thank you 
that you've taken us through those necessary storms and those necessary times of disappointment, God, that you may get us to our bigger purpose and to our destiny. Thank you that you've walked with us and that you've never left us alone in those times. And say, yea, do we walk through the valley of the shadow of death? We will fear no evil because you are with us. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for being forever present in our lives. And thank you that you've created us for such a time as this, that you can even trust us to walk through these disappointment times and, and these, these times of frustration and those low times and those heavy times and those hurt. I pray for those who heart may be hurting, who may be in despair. Let them continue to lean and trust on you. We forever give your name to praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. Thank you again for another week of tuning in. We will see you next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. God bless you. Love you.